Please explain how the I and the they are connected in your study and what impact this had and will have on the way, ways in which the research has been carried out. Question. What I'm saying is the I and they are connected. It's a complex union of understandings between different cultures of my British culture and the culture which I'm working in and my Japanese culture. My European I is grounded in the Western paradigm of knowing and knowledge. Okay? This doesn't exist in the East because they have the collective formation of I, where self is not self. Self is the I of family, the I of group, the I of nation. So the I and they are connected in my research. The second part of the question of what impact this has had on me and my research is that I had to modify my position that I'd arrived with when I arrived in Japan in the year 2000, having completely taught MA in Bath and completely grounded in educational theory and grounded in the understanding that my I and I knew my I in this totality. I've now moved away from that completely, that I don't have an I that I know, that I understand. So, in fact, we've got two forms of I following each other in the same inquiry, which can be very confusing, unless you link it to DNA, where you've got factual, like my, my understanding, you've got factual concepts that aren't factual concepts, and you've got the inner I and the outer I, which are actually all part of the same I. Okay? They talked about connection. connection. I didn't, sorry, I didn't hear the explanation of connect, the word connection. I heard the difference between the I and the A across the two cultures. What I didn't hear was what the meaning of connection was. Well, they're, they're connected they're, because the, I don't believe in separation. Okay. Mm. When I when I left uh, for Japan in the year 2000, I'd just finished, i fresh out of the, the, the meat grinder of the taught education in MA. Okay. Okay. I, discovered action research, and I was a convert. I was completely hooked on the concept of who am I, because it was such a powerful question. I could ask, who am I? Well, this is great. I've got no idea who I am. So I then set about on discovering who I was. And in that discovery of trying to find out who I was, I realized that I was more than the concept of I. It, if you look at the British concept, the Western concept of I, it's based in a cognitive, giving self a value. The East don't do that. They just got just look at you with blankness when you say, "Okay, I sat in front of my class and said, right, we're going to say, uh, class, the question, who am I?'" I said, what, what, "What do you mean?" "Well, you know, who are you?" "Yeah, what, what, what do you mean?" And it didn't come home to me then until I actually realised I was doing imperialism. I was doing, I was grafting in a Western form of understanding into a culture that it didn't belong. It wasn't part of. So I was in danger of cultivating imperialistic. So there's no disconnection between I and No, there, no. There is, there is a connection. So, I mean, what's happening? There is no, there is no exclusion between I and they. They're connected. But because I have to use cognitive forms of representation to explain it, I have to explain this is the Western concept of I, this is the Eastern concept of I. Actually, they're both part of the same thing, even though they're different. I see, so this connection is, means part of the same thing. Yeah, for me, yes. And this is, this is exactly what I've been trying to go on about, really, is the distinction between, if you like, the individual self notion, the yeah. collective self notion. And the, the way I see it is the, is the bringing together of the two. So is that one actually, and, and this is the, the local and the non local, if you like, uh, the togetherness of the local and the non local actually through the filter that you referred to earlier, because the filter you referred to early, er, earlier was exactly what I would talk about in terms of a dynamic boundary. Uh, and, and, the, and, and the different, and it comes down to our different ways of thinking about boundaries once again, yeah. is that in a rationalist culture, the boundary of the individual, I, mm -hmm. is seen as discrete yes. and fully complete and located. Whereas in, if you want to use the inclusional version of this, the boundary of the inclusional I is the place of dynamic relation, the place of dynamic coupling mm -hmm. yeah, of the individual with the collective. So it's that each is simultaneously, mm -hmm. simultaneously a reciprocal expression of the other. See, that's what I found so exciting because the actual PhD question is how do I, how do I make explicit and hold my values mm -hmm. uh, as, I, as, I, as I move these values for the pedagogization yeah. of, a, of a formal healing curriculum yeah. in the university setting. 
Now my values are those of a Buddhist priest, which are completely off the wall compared to, compared to what the educational setting requires in Japan, because the education setting in Japan is based as, as a mirror of Western imperial doctrines. And consequently, in Japan, socially now, they've got severe problems and yes. severe troubles. Terrible troubles, which have been like, anyway, I think it's kind of, I'm going off the wrong way.